the reading will come from Genesis, Exodus, Exodus chapter 23, Exodus chapter 23. Now we see the children of Israel, they were mightily rescued by God. God will rescue you. God will come with the whole of heaven. If you are crying, if you are in bondage, if there are people who have enslaved you, have taken your freedom, they are oppressing you, they are mistreating you, they, are, they have taken all that which is yours, your freedom, your property, your children are suffering, they are crying. Everything has no direction. Keep on trusting in God. The children of Israel, even in bondage, they kept on and they believed that God surely was with them and God would never leave them. And they were very proud. It's good to be a proud Christian. It's good to know where we come from. And it's good to know that you are not just any other person. You are called by the name of God of heavens and earth. You are important. You are valuable. And although you may look that you have been forgotten, that you are, you are suffering, you are crying, your mistreatment, your pain seems not to come to an end. But surely one day, as long as you are faithful, as long as you are obedient, and you know who you are, the Lord will never leave you. The Lord never leaves his children. The Lord never forgets those who are called by his name. And the Bible says, and God will call Moses and tell Moses, Moses, arise, go, go back to where you came from. I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are the child of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You have ancestral connection. You have people who are connected by you. You have people who, who have walked with God. And God, as long as you carry his name, it is a mighty tower. It is a shield. He covers us with his wings, with his presence. And he walks and protects and defends those who are called by his name. And we are told uh, after the Lord rescued them, he never left them. He never abandoned them. And one day the Bible says, the Lord had the cries of the children of Israel. The Lord will hear your cries. The Lord will come down. The Lord will deliver you. The Lord will rescue you. And you will be a free man. You will be a free family. You will be a free nation. It will only need one person in a family in a state, in a nation. At times, just God does not work in masses. When he wants deliverance, when he wants to redeem, to rescue, to save, to bless, God will, normally he would use one person. And this time he uses Moses. And he tells Moses, Moses, come here. Who are you? I want you to go back. Go back to Egypt and rescue my people. And then Moses says, hey, me, I cannot. <laughs> I am a stammerer. How can I talk to the king of Egypt? I am Moses. No God, I cannot go. I am, I am a shepherd. I have lived in the wilderness. I am dirty, I'm smelly, I'm insignificant. But the Lord tells Moses, no, who created you? I am the Lord Almighty. And I'm sending you back to go and rescue, to go and redeem. God himself can never come in your family, in your state, in your environment, in the situation that you are in. God will pick somebody. God will use somebody. And God's deliverance is mighty. It is powerful. Not only powerful. God eliminated so many. All the firstborn of the Egyptians, they were destroyed. And their firstborn livestock. God will destroy some situations, some issues, even some persons from your life. Not only that one, God has no mercy when it comes to redeeming and to rescuing his children. And we see when God came down, he came with the whole of heaven. And in, he comes with the 10 plagues. 10 plagues. And he says, I am the Lord Almighty. 
There are issues that will come. God will release certain issues, certain situations against your enemies. And they will not overwhelm you. Although they have almost a replica, they almost they have the same things. Moses was using a rod and Aaron, the only two. And the miracles Moses and Aaron were performing, they were also countered by the pharaohs. But the last one overwhelmed. The last one was the final. And the last one silenced everything. And even the pharaoh was so much afraid. When the Lord destroys all the firstborns, all the Egyptians, and also their animals, Lord will destroy that which stands, that which opposes you, that which has enslaved you, that which has taken your freedom, your property, you are wealth, and you are impoverished, you are poor, you are dilapidated, you are, you, 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 you are miserable, and you are pathetic. What is that you have been crying for and on for a very long time? The Lord listens, the Lord hears, but there needs to be somebody that the Lord will use. There needs to be somebody the Lord will work through to bring that redemption that salvation and that freedom. Do not worry. Do not keep quiet. Keep on praying, trusting, believing. And sure enough, the Lord is mighty. Not only mighty, he's powerful and he's good and serious and he protects and he shields and he uses all the arsenals he has to rescue you, to redeem you. And when he does that one, hey, the Egyptians you see today, you shall see them no more. And that is the word of God.